Have you ever wondered what happens to your brain and body when you watch porn every day? It's a question that might have crossed your mind, but perhaps you've never truly considered the physiological and psychological implications. It's not just about moral judgments or societal norms. It's about understanding the tangible, real-world effects of constant exposure to explicit content. So, let's peel back the veil of conjecture and misinformation. Let's unfold the mystery and dig deeper into the five things that happen to you if you watch porn every day. Firstly, your brain may start to become desensitized. Now what exactly does this mean? Well, when you constantly expose your brain to explicit material, it starts to adapt. This is how the human brain works. It adapts to new environments, new experiences, and yes, new stimuli. In this case, the explicit content becomes the new norm for your brain. But here's where the problem starts. As your brain gets more and more used to these explicit images and videos, it may find it harder to respond to less explicit, more natural stimuli. It's a bit like developing a tolerance to a drug. The more you use it, the more you need to get the same effect. And the same happens with the brain's response to explicit material. So, what's the outcome? You may find that what once excited you no longer does, or that you need more and more explicit content to get the same reaction. This is desensitization in action. It's a slippery slope. And it can lead to a lot of issues down the line, including problems in your personal relationships and your mental health. Hence, overexposure to porn can numb your natural response to sexual stimuli. Secondly, watching porn every day can lead to unrealistic expectations about sex. Now, let's delve into why that's the case. Pornography, by its very nature, is a form of entertainment. It's crafted to excite and titillate, often using exaggerated scenarios and idealized performers. It's a world of fantasy that can be far removed from the realities of everyday intimate relationships. When consumed daily, these hyperbolic portrayals can start to skew our understanding of what is normal or expected in a sexual relationship. We begin to compare our own experiences with these unrealistic standards, and that can lead to feelings of inadequacy, dissatisfaction, and frustration. Moreover, it can distort our viewpoints on consent, communication, and respect in a sexual relationship which are vital for a healthy and fulfilling intimate connection. It's essential to remember that real-life intimacy is about mutual understanding, patience and emotional connection, not just the physical act itself. Therefore, porn can create a false image of what real intimacy looks like. Thirdly, it can lead to addiction. Just like any other addictive substance, pornography has the potential to ensnare you in its grip, creating a cycle of dependency that's hard to escape. It starts off innocently, a stress reliever, a form of entertainment, a curiosity. But soon you find yourself needing to watch more and more to achieve the same level of pleasure or relief. This is because the brain releases a chemical called dopamine each time you watch porn, giving you a rush of pleasure, a high. Over time your brain gets accustomed to these high levels of dopamine, and you need more of it to feel the same thrill. This is called tolerance. As you develop tolerance you begin to spend more time watching porn, neglecting other aspects of your life. The desire to watch porn starts to interfere with your daily routine. You may try to cut back, but withdrawal symptoms like restlessness, irritability, and even depression set in. This is addiction. Addiction to pornography is not just a moral issue, it's a neurological one. It's a battle not just against a habit, but against your own brain chemistry. So watching porn every day can trap you in a vicious cycle of addiction. Lastly, but certainly not least, it can cause relationship problems and mental health issues. When a person engages in daily consumption of pornography, it can lead to the development of unrealistic expectations about intimacy and relationships. These expectations can fuel dissatisfaction with one's partner, fostering a sense of inadequacy or resentment. This can result in escalating relationship discord, with communication breaking down and trust being eroded. These problems can be further compounded by the desensitization effect we discussed earlier. The need for more extreme content to achieve the same level of arousal can introduce elements of discomfort or even distress in a relationship, leading to further strain and disconnect. On the mental health front, the constant consumption of pornography has been linked to a host of issues. Anxiety, depression and feelings of isolation can all be exacerbated by regular pornography use. The sense of guilt associated with excessive pornography consumption can trigger feelings of shame and worthlessness, contributing to a vicious cycle of negative self-perception and mental distress. Moreover, as the person becomes increasingly reliant on pornography for emotional escape or sexual satisfaction, 
they might find themselves retreating into a shell, avoiding social interactions and meaningful connections. This isolation can further fuel their mental health issues, creating a downward spiral that's hard to break free from. In conclusion, daily porn consumption can lead to significant relationship discord and mental health problems. To recap, here are the five things that happen if you watch porn every day. Firstly, desensitization occurs, as your brain craves more intense material. Secondly, unrealistic expectations about sex and relationships develop, creating a skewed perception of reality. Thirdly, a potential addiction can form, making it hard to quit. Fourthly and fifthly, it can lead to relationship problems and mental health issues, disrupting your personal and social life. Awareness is the first step towards change. Understanding these effects can help you make more informed decisions about your consumption habits.